Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be talking about raising chickens in A Wonderful Life. As is the case with most other farming sims, raising chickens is on the easier side of things, but in A Wonderful Life they make everything a little bit more complicated and in-depth, so I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about raising chickens. To start raising chickens in A Wonderful Life, all you're going to need is 1,000 gold. Then you're going to go to this book, and you're going to choose to get a female chicken for 1,000 gold. On your farm, you already have a chicken pen, so you can just start getting chickens right from the very beginning as soon as you have enough money. You may think, oh, I could buy a male chicken for 500 and start then. Well, no, because <laughs> male chickens are not able to lay eggs. When you buy your chicken, you should also buy chicken feed. Um, with the chickens, you can let them outside by hitting this bell, but you can't do it if it's raining. So on the days that it's raining, you're gonna wanna have them inside and use chicken feed. When you look at the price of chicken feed, you might think, wow, chickens are expensive <laughs> because it's 100 gold. But to this chicken feed, it'll actually last you a long time if you only have one chicken. Um, so you're only gonna have to replenish it maybe once a week. My advice is to always have some chicken feed on hand just in case it's raining, then you can use it because keep in mind <laughs> that if you order from this list, then it's going to take Takakuda a day to look at it and then he's going to have to go to town and then come back and give it to you. So there's going to be a delay between the time that you buy it and the time that you get it. So if you don't want your chickens to be upset with you, then you better have some chicken feed on hand. Once you get a female chicken, she's going to be laying a unfertilized egg every day, and this egg will sell for 100 gold. In other farming sims, you might be able to put that egg in an incubator and then just get a bunch of chickens from that, but in this game, you have male chickens and female chickens. So, these initial eggs that you're getting from your first chicken, you're not going to be able to put them in the incubator, so you might as well just start selling them. Once you have 500 gold, now you can buy a male chicken. Then, once your chicken comes in, you'll have a male chicken and a female chicken. Now, every day when your chicken lays an egg, there's a chance that it'll be these blue eggs that you've been getting from the beginning, and there's a chance that it'll be these red eggs that are fertilized. These fertilized eggs are better because, number one, they're going to sell for 150 gold instead of the 100 gold, and if you put them in the incubator, you're going to be able to get another chicken. So now that you have a male chicken and a female chicken and you're getting the eggs that you put in the incubator, the new chicken that you get, it's going to be a chance to be a male chicken or a female chicken. Um, you can choose to sell the chick when it comes out for 150 or you can wait until it uh, matures into an adult, then you can sell it for more. If it's a male chicken, then you can still sell it for 250 gold. There are actually three kinds of eggs that the chicken can lay. The first one are the unfertilized eggs. The second one are fertilized eggs. And the third one, you can actually get your chicken to lay a golden egg. The chicken will start laying golden eggs occasionally once you get it to max hearts. What's the fastest way to get your chickens to max hearts? Okay, let's talk about it. Once a day, you can pick up your chicken and set it down. If it's not sleeping, then this will give you one heart. If it is sleeping, then it doesn't matter. It's not going to make it dislike you or like you. One important aspect is sometimes the chickens will be sleeping and sometimes they'll be awake. If they are awake, then you can pick them up and then you can nudge them with your head and then put them down. This will give them two hearts. However, if they are sleeping and you pick them up and then you try to nudge them, they're going to be upset with you. So you can see they have these black squiggly lines, which means they're not happy with you. So every time you pick up the chicken up, you should look at it. Is it awake or is it asleep? If it's awake, then you can nudge it, get the extra heart, and put it back down and get two hearts. If it's asleep, then make sure you don't nudge it because it's going to get angry with you. One other side note I want to throw in here is if you pick a chicken up and there's an egg under it, then you're going to want to take the chicken away a few steps and put it down because the chicken's going to try to defend its egg. <laughs> so it'll make this sound and then it'll try to run back to the egg. So then you're going to have to try to like, you know, go faster than the chicken and get the egg. Um, it does give you a little bit of a head start, I think because it's a little bit surprised that you picked it up and put it down somewhere else. So you're going to want to pick the chicken up, take a few steps, put it down, and then run back and get that egg. 
And actually, if there are other female chickens in the area, they might also try to go and sit on the egg. So, with the original chicken pen, you can have up to eight chickens. So, of course, you're going to want one male chicken and then all the rest to be female. This way, you can get eggs every day from the seven hens. And then the rooster makes it so that there's a chance for them to be fertilized eggs, which even if you aren't making them into chickens, they still sell more than the unfertilized eggs. So you're always going to want to keep at least one male chicken on your farm. Um, I saw that some people, they like to try to max their profits by um, sometimes selling a chicken and then um, hatching another one. Because remember, you can sell an adult chicken for a decent amount of money. So if you want to be lazy like me, you can just have one rooster and then seven hens and then just sell all the eggs that you get. Or you could try to do that strategy where the last hen you're always selling one and then fertilizing another egg and then letting it go on that should be everything you need to know about raising chickens in a wonderful life if you have any more questions please let me know in the comments down below also if there's another tutorial that you would like to see please also let me know in the comments down below um, i probably will be doing a few more tutorial videos on the different aspects of a wonderful life however um you know i'm going through the game right now myself so the more complicated ones i'll be doing them later on as i <laughs> more time to kind of tinker around and see if they're the same mechanics as the original or if they've mixed them up a little bit. And on that note, I'll see you guys next time.